although it's a SQL-based database, it's not. It's definitely not a traditional SQL-based database. My name is Shen Wei. Um, I'm a senior software engineer at Netflix. My role is specific to the Cockroach DB, try to make sure we build, release, and operating it in a correct way. So the goal is still, I mean, in short, we want to support the majority or critical business use case for Netflix who want to use the persistency as a service. Currently, we have a 100 plus cluster running in pro the Cockroach DB, and we have 150 plus cluster in test. The reason we landing on the Cockroach DB is, is to give support about the nat its nature of supporting the distributed transaction, and it also has a multi-region capability, so that's the biggest challenge we've been facing at the time, and so that's why we land with the Cockroach DB. At Netflix, we provide the freedom for everyone to choose their technology. But the idea is we want to have some concrete metrics or guidance for everyone to use so when they try to decide wh whether I, my application should use Cockroach DB or use Cassandra or use other Postgres or MySQL, what would be my choice? What would be the latest difference if I choose them? To reduce the cost and to achieve the most efficient way to operating things, we definitely want to have choose some platform we want to support and want to make sure it support the majority of the, our use case. So at Netflix, if, if all other database they can fulfill their business requirement, and then if they want to have some white glove support from some internal, from the centralized platform team to handle everything, CockroachDB will be my suggestion.